Shingles is a condition caused by the chickenpox virus. This is a virus that many of us got when we were younger. And what's interesting about the chickenpox virus is that once you are infected with it, it doesn't go away. It hides out in your body, and for most of us, our immune system controls it uh, for most of our lives. But every now and then, it can flare up. And when it does, it causes the dreaded shingles. Shingles is a painful condition, usually characterized by a rash. It's actually the same rash you would see with chickenpox, but it's confined to one strip of your skin. That's actually the area of skin that is getting its nerve supply from one nerve root in your spine. Uh, that's where the shingles virus has been hanging out, and when it reactivates, it causes a condition there. I say dreaded because it is very painful for most people, uh, to the point where oftentimes the pain comes first and then the rash appears. So people will come see their doctor saying, I have this pain, I don't know what it is, it's, it's horrible, and, and then a day or two later now there's a rash and it's pretty clear that the diagnosis is shingles. When it goes away, most people will have slow resolution of the pain. The rash will go first and the pain will dissipate over time. There are some people, unfortunately, that are afflicted with a condition called post-herpetic neuralgia, which is essentially that the pain from the shingles episode doesn't really go away. And in some people, that's debilitating. So shingles has had a vaccine available to treat it for several years now. The one that's been on the market is called Zostavax. It is a live weakened version of the shingles virus. And it provides some level of protection against getting shingles. The CDC estimates that it's around 60% for all comers in age. As you get older, it can drop down into the 40s. It was more effective at preventing the post trapetic neuralgia, the chronic pain that you can get after a shingles episode. Uh, but even that uh, was really not that effective. We recommended it and used it for our patients because it was the only thing we had. Just recently, a new vaccine has come on the market. It's called Shingrix. Unlike Zostavax, which was a live weakened version of the virus, Shingrix is actually a killed uh, version of the virus. It's a, it's a protein from the virus as opposed to the whole thing. It is markedly more effective than the old vaccine, and it, the protection provided is thought to last longer, to the point where the old vaccine was effective in over 60% of patients. The new vaccine, Shingrix, is effective in over 90% of the patients. Uh, the protection against post-herpetic neuralgia, the pain that you get following shingles for the old vaccine was in the mid-70s. For the new vaccine, it's in the upper 80s. I think Sh Shingrix is a huge advance for vaccines. There are not a lot of vaccines that we have that have an effectiveness of over 90%. When you think about the flu vaccine from this year where the effectiveness was abysmally low. 90 plus percent ability to keep you from getting shingles in the first place uh, and then almost as good to keep you from getting the pain following shingles is totally worth it to me. Shingles is a common disease. People, as we get older, we get stressed, we have weakened immune systems, are more likely to get an outbreak of shingles. And I've seen enough of them clinically that I know that I don't want it. Uh, as soon as I can and I'm eligible, I would get the vaccine.